what is up game developer and in the last few videos i've been demotivating you people and i'm gonna continue demotivating you because well you guys said so <laughs> but anyways what i found is a very nice article that i want to talk about and it's some website boring but as you can see from the title over 2000 people and 14 studios worked on the last of us part 2 and last of us part 2 is our favorite porn game what there are sex scenes then you see the game then you type on you know your favorite porn site the last of us 2 oh is that only me? <laughs> but anyways, as you can see, over 2,000 people worked on this game. And this is something I want to talk about because a lot of beginners have this misconception that they can, like, jump into game development and they can develop the next, you know, Grand Theft Auto 10 or The Witcher 5 or, you know, whatever. And I just want to tell you the reality and what can you expect so that you can focus on the things that you can actually achieve. And over here, as you can see, aside from the developers at Naughty Dog, 14 outsourced studios worked on The Last of Us Part 2, amassing a workforce over 2,000 people. And this number obviously isn't derived from Naughty Dog and Sony alone, blah, blah, blah. Two studios were bought in as external contractors to handle voiceover recording and editorial and blah, 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 blah. As you can see for a game of this caliber, and with this graphics and everything that's in it, it takes really a lot of time and effort to create, especially as you can see, only two studios were working on voices. And especially in today's games, games like these, not everything is created with game development. I say game development software, but I mean like 3D software in terms of modeling the models, because a lot of the scenes, a lot of the animations, a lot of the moves are actually done with real humans so they have those i don't know motion tracking things and whatnot you know that you saw that you probably typed that on your favorite porn site or whatever but anyways <laughs> i'm so happy for this video man <laughs> but anyways they put that on like a real person and then he you know throws a few punches then they put that inside of the computer and then they create or put that that animation in the character and and, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. But my point is, don't aim big if you are an indie game developer. When I say don't aim big, I mean don't aim to create a game like this because as you can see, over 2,000 people worked on the game with probably millions and millions and millions of dollars in budget and God knows how many years of time. So... What is the point here? The point is, again, to demotivate you so that you can quit game development. <laughs> and I'm saying this because a few people, well, you already know, you saw the comments, you know, <laughs> are, you know. My point is to, to shift your focus on something that you can achieve so that you don't lose motivation, so that you don't think about quitting and so that you don't get disappointed when you can't achieve a result like The Last of Us 2 or probably your Grand Theft Auto 6 game that you're currently working on that you will need to quit after this video. So when you are planning your game, make sure that you first put it on a paper. The scope of the game that you want to create needs to be within your reach. Don't put something unrealistic that you cannot achieve. So just think of it. Be realistic with yourself. Be real. Just think about your skills, everything what you know, everything that you can do and put a, put a game together out of those skills and put that on a piece of paper and think about, am I able to achieve this? Can I create this? Will I be able to develop this? And so on and so forth. So that you don't waste your time creating something that's not possible and you will, I don't know, spend a year, maybe two developing that and in the end you will quit. It is better for you to create a game that is not like The Last of Us 2, but it's a smaller game, it's a playable game, it's a fun game, it's a visual game, but you finish it in a year or two. You publish it online, people can see it, people can download it. If you publish it on Steam, people can buy it, you can earn money, you can use it as a portfolio. Now, doesn't that sound better than you trying to beat Rockstar Games with the you know release date of your own version of Grand Theft Auto V? So I will put a link to this to this article also in the description below, but you can also research online about you know what it takes to create a game of this caliber. Probably they used to, I don't know, 
I'm not gonna say here because it's probably gonna be controversial, but two girls to do that scene that you typed on, you know, Pornhub or whatever. But yeah, anyways, thank you for watching this demotivating video where I probably, you know, ruined your dream about becoming a game developer. But again, I'm gonna put aside those people who are, you know, who think like that. I'm going to put them aside. But anyways, yeah, thank you for watching. Just remember, be realistic, put realistic goals and put that on a piece of paper before you try to create your game so that, I don't know, you don't get disappointed in the end because my goal is for you to actually create a game that you can actually create and not try to, you know, do a miracle. So yeah, Fahir here from awesomedudes.com. Thank you for watching this game developer or game or whatever you are. If you want to learn game development, I have a few links down below. Make sure also that you like the video, comment and share it so the others can see. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach 100k subscribers. And uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.